TestWiz, selecting and printing a report using TestWiz. Thought I would come to you this afternoon and just share with you the basics of how to select and then print a test um, for reporting purposes. Some of you may be way beyond this point, but I just thought it'd be nice to show some of the new teachers and maybe people that need to refresh our course in this. So I'm just going to share with you my screen and walk you through this. It's going to be pretty basic and a short tutorial. So when you log on to your TestWiz site, you're going to click up here to select a test for reporting. And if you've never been to this page before, um, you will not be able to see anything when you uh, click on the drop down arrow for recently selected test. You have to go down here in your menu and find your test that you gave to your students. And notice that there's pages one, two, and three. You might have more depending on how many tests have been created at your school. So find the test that you want to um, report on and print. And then you're going to come to this screen. This screen gives a lot of the demographics. It tells you the name of the test, when the test was given. Then you have a chance to select the reporting group. You can do view student by student. Um, and it'll be underneath that profile. You can print all the class reports. So you see how your whole class did. If you are in a school where you have multi-tracks of different grades, then you can click the school one and it'll print all of the um, reports for your 3A math class. You can do your 3B math class or your 3C math class. So you can do that. So I'm just going to click today for um, the class. And then you'll see that comes up. You can see the student list. The one I would suggest to going to first is the one that says the 2-1 class list with items. This is going to give you a list of all of your kids and then it shows you how they did on each question of the selected assessment. And then your teacher type location. This depends on how TestWiz uploaded this for you. Um, you can leave it on current location and it'll give you your teacher name. Or if you know that you are in 1819 and you are the reading teacher, you can put it there. Um, or maybe it's put 1819 third grade teacher if you only do one class in a smaller class, a school, smaller school. Then um, you don't have to do any customizations at this point. Later you can do that. Um, but on here, if you are ready and you just simply want to do it, you can click on preview of the report and it'll bring the report up right there on your screen. If you wanted to do any customizations, you can do it with the parameters right here. Um, maybe you want to select um, that you want cutoff scores of a certain score and above. So that way you just want to see students how they did on those. Or maybe you want to go over here and do um, different um, objective cutoffs, um, multi-test. But if the um, section over here, if it's anything in gray, then it's not able to be selected with this specific uh, test. So if you go click on there, and I'm not going to click on there because I am logged in a different school, so I don't want to share any of their information, but I'll show you just a sample of a test that has nothing to do with us. So when you click on that preview test, this is what's going to come up. You're going to again get to see what uh, report you selected. You get to see the name of the test again, the test date that it was given, district, school, class, if there was a subtest, maybe you had um, math subtest and you were doing different um, content areas in math, then it would it would show what subtest you were reporting on. And then it also gives you um, the raw score. So right here across the top, it has all the item numbers listed. And if you would hover and click on these blue hyperlinks, it's going to take you to what the test question looks like. So that way you can compare that to how the students answered. Down the left side of the screen, you have all of your students listed. And then there's some symbols going across. So if you look over here, you can see that this student on number one has a plus. A plus means that they got that item correct. Item two, they have another plus. Here we come to a letter. The letter means that they got this test item wrong. So then you go ahead and keep coming across all the way over here. And you can see that this student got 78% um, correct. And then there's a uh, raw scale score was a 31. 
and you can look for that for each um, student going across. If you see a hashtag or the pound sign, that means that that item was skipped. So it means that the student didn't answer that question. Down at the bottom, if you look down here, then you can go and you can see that um, in item one, there was 100% of the students that got this question correct. Item two, 94% of the students got this item correct. Item three, 100% of the students got this correct, and so forth. And if you go over here, and then you get your average scale score over here for that test. So I just wanted to give you an idea of what you're looking for with this first um, list with items um, test report. Okay, we'll come back to our main screen. Now, if you go and you click on preview the report, then it's going to come and it's going to give you a section that you can actually go and print that report. So right up here, you're going to see where it can be printed in a PDF, a Word, or Excel document. So if you click on one of these, then you're going to go up and it's going to say um, download your report. It's still a bit different now than this, what it says here. So once you select how you want it printed, then you go up to the top, you download the report, it's going to download it to and you can click on the download. Then you can look at that and then um, my suggestion would be to save it to your computer and that way you can print it off um, or have a file with those in it later on. Okay, if you would like to know more specific um, ways to use test if you're, you're beyond the basics of it, then you can come back over and go to your home page and click on sample reports and then go over here to where you want steps for creating specific reports and then you can do cutoff reports, comparison reports, historical tracking, demographic special codes and other so it's, they're just really nice simple tutorials so um, that's where that information is for you if you again have any questions make sure that you contact me at the uh, service unit here. My name is Tammy Cheatham. Um, give me a call. Have me come out. I'll surely walk um, a small group of teachers through things or individual teachers. I'm here to help. Have a good afternoon.